Okay, for day two, it's a little harder to do the vintage Christmas unboxing the way I was doing it because everyone's now awake. So I thought I would just show you things right before I put them up. So these are my Santa mugs and, uh, <laughs> and a, uh, my head mugs. I don't know what to call them, like face mugs. I don't know. I don't know what to call them, but I thought I'd show them to you. There's one in there that says, um, Carol. Someone sent that to me. I have another one like the Carol one that says Larry. It's in a different box because I think I found it at the bins at some point this year or something. I don't remember why it got separated. So this, um, I don't know anything about these, to be honest with you. Um, this one I think is modern. It just looks, it just looks old, 180 degrees. I just think they're so cute. This is actually a vintage one. Mark Japan. And then I have this Fitz and Floyd. So I'm going to go ahead and put these in my cabinet right there. All right, here's the next round. I did find one of my mini Santa mugs. And then I have all of these. So this is kind of like a set. Someone sent these to me last year. I put them on a separate tree this year. But I think I told you in yesterday's video, I'm moving my vintage ornaments tree upstairs. So these will just go on the vintage ornaments tree. And then here are some little carolers. I found these at the bins. They were part of the same person's collection because they were all in a box together as the, th the two Noel um, things that I showed you in my other video. That set and that set. So they, those all went together. And so I'm going to put this into the china cabinet and I haven't decided where these are going yet and these will go on that tree. Oh, and then I did find two more of the Santa cu cupcake toppers. All right, I found Mr. and Mrs. Claus for the little, for my friend Tammy's little truck. Then uh, a, new, a few other things to show you that I just pulled out and haven't put anywhere yet. Got these two chipboard movable tags. Are they supposed to be tags? I don't, or I guess they're supposed to be ornaments. So those are really cute. And then I also found this. I think I also picked this up at the bins from that same person's collection. Or did someone send this to me? I can't remember guys. It's, it's, it's vague. I'd have to watch my own videos, but this is Santa's orchestra. I think it's so cute. So I'm going to go ahead and set these up. Okay. Also from the same friend who gave me these candles. I found my Santa firecracker, I call it. I don't know what else you would call it, but basically you, when you turn it upside down, all of these go flat and then you turn it the other way and it looks like a firecracker. So I stuck him into that little boot that either Chris or my brother made, not entirely sure. Sent to me in a big bunch of stuff from the bins. But I'm going to put this with, I have on my shelf the pokey little puppy Christmas. So I'm going to put that near that or on the shelf above it. And then Christmas linen. I have a place where I'm hanging these. So that, oh, it's a bead. Whoops. So I will put this with my other ones. This way I have access to them if I want to use them on a table, but they're also on display. So I have that. And then I have this, which I love this. Holy cow. This is a Christmas doily, but look, they like made little berries. I just think this is so cute. Oh my gosh, it's so well done. So this I'm probably going to fold like this and maybe put somewhere in that cabinet. I'm not sure. I like the colors with the things that are in there. And then two of these, these are all going in a collection because I have a few of my own. So these will go downstairs in my room. I have a place for those. And then I'm not sure where I'm gonna put these yet, but they will go somewhere. Normally, if it were a normal year, I would put these in the craft room because these match the colors of the craft room really well that I do for Christmas in there. But that room is currently Maddie's room. And then, oh my gosh, I love these so much. So these will get hung on my vintage Christmas ornaments tree. I think they're all the same. Maybe not, no, they're not all the same. Look at these, are so cute. That one, and some gold bells, and this one, oopsie, and then another kind of like, oh, that was silver, just is losing some of its glitter. So 
Anywho, that's the next installment here. Alrighty, continuing to work through my collection here. She is so cute. Oh, she's a bell. Left and bell. She's gonna go in the china hutch. Let's see. Oh, and she has wings. She's an angel. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I have no idea where I got her. And these are not vintage. That's Dollar Tree. Those are my little nativities. Oh, she is cute. So I think I told you, um, now I'm going to forget again. This is left in Japan. Okay, I think I've mentioned this before. This reminds me of the Swedish St. Lucia. So it's this figure in Swedish Christian culture and they do a ceremony to her. I don't know the entire story, but she wears like candles on her head. And this always reminds me of that. So she's super cute. I think I'll put her with my Christmas carolers. I'm going to do a little, I don't know, set up of them. Some more bulbs. And let's see. Oh, he's so cute. He'll go in my Santa collection. He's not vintage, but he'll just go over in the family room with my other Santas. Another candle hugger. Oh, she is darling. I found her at the bins last year. I love her. She's so cute. This is a little gnome, I think. Or not really, but and I think I put it in with my gnomes. This is totally 80s geese. That'll probably go on top of the hutch, I think. All right, here's the next layer. Some goodies here. So this someone crocheted around a Santa face. These are more of those, I think they're 1940s Santas. That's what I was saying. I'm going to put my collection down in my room. There's a shelf I want to put them on. And then these are just a ton of cutie little Santas for my vintage Santa collection. So these are salt and pepper shakers. And several of these flocked Santas. Hey, hey. <laughs> this is really cute. I think it's, it's like, I don't know what this one's. It almost feels like styrofoam made in Mexico. Oh, it's, I think, uh, no, maybe, I can't tell if that's the same signature as that other, as the uh, paper mache artist, I'm not sure. This looks like DeCiro or something. This is really cute. I think someone sent this to me, flocked ornament, and she's really cute. I found her at Goodwill. Oh, I never took the tag off, haha. -ha. She's cute. And then some angels. What's this? Oh, I love these. These go in my wooden ornaments village. Musical kids, trim a tree, Christmas ornaments. Oh, he's cute. Oh, another salt shaker. I think someone sent this to me. And, oh, I think I showed that to you. All right, so I'm going to work through this layer. I found these cuties. I think someone sent them to me. They're all marked Japan. So these are going to go on the tree also. So adorable. I found... Totally retro, but new in package. Just a very old package. Bubble lights, and they work. I'm so pumped. They bubble. Yay! Oh, this one has to keep them upright. Is there a tree topper? In the next part of the video, I am going to show you one by one some of the ornament highlights, but I lost some footage and the number one thing I really wanted to show you is this. This was my mother's stocking ornament. I don't know if it was meant to be a stocking or an ornament, 
but I know it was hers and it was from her childhood and which I mentioned in the video, but then that part of the video got deleted anyway. So I wanted to mention that and now we'll go back to the video and I'll talk you through some of my favorite ornaments that you'll see on this tree. This one is from my neighbor, Nancy. She crocheted us a bunch of ornaments. This might be the only one left. That is from my childhood though, for sure. And then another one of these. I don't think I got I somehow missed recording this one. This one actually says grandma and it's from Austria and it has an amazing 50s kind of starburst design there. I'll bring the camera in closer to the tree once everything is hung up. These are also from Chris's grandma. They say night before Christmas made in USA. And I also have the boxes for all these. They are stacked in my living room. You'll see those in my house tour. Oh, this one's cool. Also part of the ones from his grandma. This one's from Chris's childhood. I'm not sure if this one came from his grandma or just from his mom. I don't remember. So it looks like when I put them away last year, I tried to put all the ones that are actually from our childhoods in the top. So that was smart of me. So these are all from my childhood. Totally 70s mirrored ornaments. This is from Chris's grandma. I think this is also from Chris's grandma. Make you happy. Hannah likes the bubble lights. Okay, here's more of the things I was telling you about. The bead ornaments that Chris's grandma made. Birds. These were sent to me, although their clips are gone. Hmm. This one has a wire still. I'm gonna need something to be able to put the other one on the tree. I want to put them at the top, both at the top, like love birds. I'm going to find something to do that with. Okay, I just put an ornament hook kind of in the bottom. I'm going to see if I can twist that around the branch. So you can see what I'm trying to accomplish. There. Good enough. It's not going to be perfect, but it's a vintage tree. It's not supposed to be perfect. All right. Okay, here's more from my childhood. Totally 70s grandpa clock, I guess. This has a train from his childhood. So here's the caboose. He was born in the uh, uh, early 70s, let's just say. I like the, so his train has Santa driving it, which is really cute. And I don't remember if this is from Chris or me, but it's from one of our childhoods. I feel like that might be from Chris's grandma again, but I'm not sure. I'm not certain. I have this little set of bells. Kind of long, but I'm gonna hang it towards the bottom of the tree. I have this one. I like this one a lot. I know what to call it, but it's pretty cute. I think I found this in the bins. It's a little handmade ornament. Oh, it says 64. So someone made it in 1964. A little mirrored ball. I don't think this is actually vintage, but it does look like mine, so that's why I liked it. I really like these. And these are kind of fun. I made these. I don't know when these are from, but they don't seem terribly old. But they're pretty. These little guys. That's pretty. Those beady ones are nice because they really pick up the light. So another one of these. Whoopsie. Let's see if there's any marks. Oh, it says Germany. Western Germany. Container made in Western Germany. There you go. And this one has the same picture on both sides. So maybe the one, other one was a mismatch. I don't know. But this has the same picture. I was going to show you this. I thought that was pretty. Not necessarily old, old style. Maybe from the 80s. I don't know. I like it though. It's pretty. Looks nice on the tree. Okay. Getting to the end here. Oh, I love this. So if you saw my mother's music box in my other, my vintage... Um, Christmas video, um, her music box had angels like this. I think they're, so, what is it? So, oh, that early plastic. I can't think of the name of it. Um, but I think that's what she is. So I was excited to find her because it's just like my mom's music box.
Just found a few more ornaments. This is another roller skate. This is not from my childhood. I thought that was super cute. And a little crocheted Santa boot. And then this beaded one. And this kind of funky bell. They're so cute. So I'm gonna put those on the tree. Found these. These are actually going to put on, I think they are vintage, but they kind of have that Swedish look to them. So I'm gonna put these on our regular tree because we have other ones like this on there because I like the Swedish inspired look. So, but I thought these were really pretty. Don't remember where they came from. And then I found these, these are kind of 80s, but I'm gonna put them here on the vintage tree because I think they're cute and clearly handmade, so. One last thing I found, and I'm sure I'll continue to find things, but most of it's out at this point. I found this bag. I don't know if someone sent them to me or if I found them at the bins, but they look like these ornaments, but they don't have the centers and they just slip over the lights. I mean, how ingenious is that? So I think they're really, really pretty. There's a purple one. I think I have about 10 of them. And then this one's gorgeous. So I was really pleased to find those. I definitely didn't have them last year. So someone either sent them to me or I found them thrifting at some point this year. But here's the tree as it stands. Whoops, coming out of focus, there we go. And down low, I have put some of my vintage toys. That was a recent one that I found. I have a rocking horse and um, a little rubber duck. Don't mind that mess over there. Those are things that are gonna decorate the entryway. And a little toy tin there, and then that little horse push toy thing. So, and then that's my vintage tree skirt that I found, I think at the bins last year. That I did have last year. So there it is right now. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. And on any given day, you can probably find me sitting in this chair, having coffee and staring at my tree. So my full vintage room tour will be up tomorrow, Friday, and I'll give you an in-depth look at everything I have out and how I've displayed it. See you then. Mm -hmm.